guys. Welcome to the Lovely Conversations YouTube and podcast yes. channel. I am Alexandria Lee, your beautiful host, and sitting next to me is Christopher Lee, my handsome co-host and husband. So welcome back to all of our lovely subscribers, family and friends and helping with us on this journey. And, you know, anyone that's new and has started this journey with us re recently, welcome, welcome back. If you're new, this is your first time in, come on in, have a seat, join this conversation. Where today we're going to be talking about having fun together with your spouse and not letting that love get dull and just keeping it fresh and funky and fun. So, if, you remember that song, Funky? Being like it. I didn't. No. <laughs> I did not like song. So if it is your first time here, be sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, be sure to click that and select all so that you get all the content. We drop videos for you every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And every Wednesday, like clockwork. Like clockwork. So that way you don't miss any content and can keep up with what we're bringing to you guys. So every week, we give you a song of the week. And this week, Chris is going to handle the song of the week. So what's the song of the week? The song of the week is Have Some Fun by Vaughn. All right. It's off the Private Room album. And it's basically just talking about getting everybody together, have some fun, going out. We can't go out. We can't go out. <laughs> you should not be going out. <laughs> but it's talking, it's talking about having some fun, everybody getting together, going out, having a good time. Um, Everything that leads up until going out, like going to the mall, getting buying your outfit, getting fresh, getting fresh and fly. I, 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 okay, talk about this song. I, this song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and just have getting everybody together to have a good time. That's mainly the whole gist of the song. Yeah, I have a piece of hair attack in my face, and I can't. Clay, can you fix it? Do you see? It? I you just got it off. But oh, you're talking about this one right here. Yes. Bless you. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Marriage, marriage life is having a partner <laughs> that can get you together because I was going to just take it off, Jesus, because oh <laughs> I don't, I felt like something was on me and I couldn't handle it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> so as always, the song will be in the description box for you guys to check it out. Give us your feedback. Let us know what you think about it. I'm pretty sure this song does not have a video to it. No, it um, so we will put the just video the that is audio. the audio that's attached to this song for you to check it out and give us your feedback on it. A uh, was definitely underrated back in the day. Y'all remember when he gave us all the bedroom songs Separated. and the apology songs yeah. and the relationship songs. So you know, that album is still one of my favorite albums. Absolutely. Like, I love that you send me songs off of it mm -hmm. often. We have some songs that just blend with our relationship that, you know, are a staple in our relationship from that album. So, um, yeah, we rock with a bunch. So check it out. Let us know what you think about it. All right. So, all right. We're going to get to talking about having fun with your spouse. Yes, indeed. We love to have fun, you guys. We stay <laughs> doing different things. We had to get completely creative with this shutdown and the quarantine and just Rona not getting up off our back and just continuously giving us issues in 2020. Like, 2020 did not come in here and sit down somewhere. 2020 came in here like the terrible twos, toddler, and has just been out of control. Hey, came in. What y'all doing? <laughs> I'm here. I'm going to be here for at least about six months. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere. So we have just gotten creative with still sticking to having fun and doing things that keep us alive. So one of the main things that we lead with, we preach to any of our other relationship, married friends, is to have that date night plan. Yes. Uh, date night. Like, how important is that? Hey, it's, it's very important. That way you don't just... Because once you get in a relationship and you've been in a relationship for so long, you get to the point where you feel like you don't have to do much. Yes. Don't get complacent, y'all. Don't get complacent in your love. Keep dating each other. Continue to date. Whether y'all go to a new restaurant, whether y'all stay at home, make it about y'all. Absolutely. So for us, we have gotten so consistent with our date nights that we already know how to introduce our budget to it. Um, but for you who are starting it, planning it, making it something that is a new norm for you, introduce a budget to it. The budget might only allow for a movie night at home. You know, sometimes the budget will allow for a nice fancy restaurant, pull up ballet, get out, go in, you know, yes. sometimes it might allow for a, you know, quick, you know, event, you know, um, something, a concert that you guys want to go to or, 
you know, a event that is out that speaks to something y'all want to do, whether it's music, poetry, you know, art, a festival of some sort. So you just want to be sure to introduce that budget, plan for that day night and make it happen. Um, some people like to pick a designated night. We do. Um, our our date night is Friday, so I always every encourage Friday night. Every Friday night, so I always encourage everyone to pick a day, pick a night that you can you can stick to. I know some couples that prefer day dates because they're so busy or their spouse and they work at night, mm -hmm. and so they have Friday day date day, or they have you know date day instead of date night. But you want to be sure that you are picking a time, a date, and sticking to it. We do every Friday, so every Friday, of course, we don't go all out. So Friday is more you know, chill, but for you guys, you might want to do, you know, maybe two date nights out the month. So every other week you plan a date night and that's fine, but just be sure that you're planning that date night and that you're sticking to it and that you're putting effort into it. Something that makes it even more fun is to take turns planning it. Yes. So like Chris, like at first I would plan all our date nights. So Chris would be like, babe, what you want to do? You know, because I want to make sure you have a good time. But then babe just got real grown and sexy and was like, be ready at seven, you know? Uh, where this we going we going somewhere or he'll send me a text message and be like you got plans yeah you do now <laughs> you know so he just got real grown and sexy on me and now I just be like waiting on my text messages to come through you know and so now he's gotten creative to where he'll be like you know we might have to do just a spa day here at the house and that might include you know him you know whining and dining me and then you know giving me that good shower bath and then rubbing me down. Oh yes, them hands. <laughs> then he'll wash my hair, y'all, and just oh, decondition it, Jesus. And oh you know, God. okay. Ooh, Sunday tomorrow. I uh, I guess so. Okay. Ooh, yes. Mm. Plan a day night. Plan a day day. Do it for you. It's important. Oh, it's important. <laughs> And take turns planning, you guys. Yes. It's nothing like ladies, we don't mind planning. We don't mind putting it together. We we quick to do it. But it's nothing more sexy and romantic for our men to jump in and just plan it and just tell us to be ready or to come home to a note, an outfit, and you just know, you know, it's nothing like more sexy than to have your man plan it and you just show up and be ready. <laughs> you remember that one time I planned? And I told you to to wear that um uh, wear that one dress and you didn't want to wear. Yeah, so <laughs> unfortunately I I I sometimes like to have a better idea of what's going on. Like so this is when Chris started taking over and planning our date night. So Chris was all like, I'm taking you somewhere and you need to wear this. And I was like, Why I need to wear that? Like that's real fancy. Like, where are we going? And so it wasn't that I didn't want to put it on. I just wanted more detail on where we was going. And why I had to wear that is so I was sense. I was so mad that I put on what he told me to put on. Like I was still cute, he was still cute, but then when I got where we was going, I was like, dang, I should put that dress on. I would have blended in. I would have been on. T I would have been on point, but we still had a good time. We went yeah. to a murder mystery dinner, you guys, and it was our first time going, and it was perfect. So you know, something else you can do to ensure that you know you guys are having fun and don't have that dull moment is to be spontaneous. Being spontaneous will definitely insert not being dull and take it oh this is going to be interesting and <laughs> what's going to happen so babe we done done a lot of things to be spontaneous but what's something that like comes to your mind like when you're thinking it was good um it was one time where we was in the pool oh lord <laughs> then it started raining and instead of getting out the pool we stayed in the pool yep and we just went under the water yep and we came back up and it started raining even harder and y'all, we had to get out. Like we was trying to stay in the pool because we was trying. Because everybody else got the pool because it was raining. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to be. It wasn't know, raining that hard at all. But we decided to be so, well, saying it's to stay in the pool. And it was like we got the pool time sale, so we can be, you know, grown. And we just put the Everybody in in the apartment complex was looking at. Absolutely, they're like, look at these fools in the pool. And so I was like, we just, it wasn't close. It wasn't. It wasn't. It stayed open. And so we decided to stay in the pool, thinking it would pass, and it did not pass, you guys. Like it came down so hard. And so we made a decision to get out. And once you get out and you wet and it's raining like that and the wind's going, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's slipping. Sliding. Slipping, sliding to the court. Like we trying to dive, you know, where it's got already muddy yet just to get to the court. So we get to the court it and out, it did not. And it, it, it came down even harder. Now it's thundering and lightning. So we just sitting in the court, letting the storm pass. And so, you know, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just got hot and steamy. 
You want to end up in the back seat? Having a good old time. Great time. <laughs> this ain't for kids, okay? Put the kids to bed. Hmm. Have fun with your spouse. Hmm. Jealous. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we might do the next time it rain. Next time it rain. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> we got a balcony now. Oh, we do. A big one. <laughs> okay. All right. Ooh, let's get to it. Okay. So, something else you can do to keep it fun and have fun with your spouse is to try different things together. You know, it might be something that your spouse might be into or that I might be into, but we definitely love to tap into each other's interests and try new things and mm -hmm. whether it's a new restaurant a corner just doing something we ain't never done before so i mean you remember we tried that new restaurant it was the first time we did a um brazilian steakhouse yes and we we it drove the cowboy cowboy, cowboy yeah. brazilian steakhouse and we drove all the way up to i don't even remember allen i think it's in allen like close to allen or something like that <laughs> you remember what happened that same day what <laughs> we had to get your windshield <laughs> replaced Yes. <laughs> so we started. That's how our day started. Yes. You had to get your windshield replaced. Yes. And then it was um it was our first anniversary. Was it? Yeah. As boyfriend and girlfriend? I think it was. Our first anniversary was boyfriend and girlfriend. And a rock had hit your window. He had just got me a new car, y'all. <laughs> like he had got me he had got it for me as like a a present for right. i don't even know what it was for but he got me a new car um because my old car was really bad and he was like you need something to fit you know whatever so he got me a new car and uh literally driving down the freeway had had to call him like, and oh, rock hit it <laughs> and you know how stuff flop on your window shield is never an issue this flew up hit our window shield and it ruined it and by the time we because you know you can get to auto Zone and get the stuff to fill it and it won't spread. By the time we got the auto zone, it had spread like a spider web. Yes. And I was so depressed. But anywho, he got it fixed and you can't even tell now. But that day, to get back on track, you guys, we went to the Brazilian State That was the first place you went after it happened. We got so full. <laughs> Chris already don't like to drive nowhere, especially someone he ain't ever been. No. And so he had told me if I drove up there, he would drive back. <laughs> Y'all, he was so full and I was so full. Chris gonna get in the passenger side. I said, what you doing? He let the seat back, unbutton his pants, and he's like, I can't drive us back. <laughs> we, sat, we sat there for a little bit. We were so full. We had to both do the same thing. I had to let my seat back. We just let, sat there and let our food die. Just like, you know how you've been slayed in the spirit with food? Man, all the food was good. And we were one of the first people there. So It was fresh. It was fresh. And we were sitting right there at the door when they come out with the food. Yes. So and Chris was like, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> And I got to point you, I was like, no, I'm good. I tried every He did. Thing. I wouldn't try everything. I was like, mm, no, I'm okay. But he, we had a good time. And the, the sides were good. Um, it was really good. We've tried some other Brazilian steakhouses since then, but that was a very good first time impression for us trying it. You think it was because we had that one first and where all the other ones didn't seem to add up to it? Probably so, because we really enjoyed it. Now, I can't say if this went down or up in quality, but when we went that day, Cowboys Brazilian Steakhouse, I believe in Allen, was amazing. Yeah, it was very good. That's when we learned about the uh, cinnamon grilled pineapple. Oh, yeah, the cinnamon grilled pineapple. We've been going ever since. <laughs> So, uh, what's the best we did, did have done? It was, oh, we did the escape room. Yes, the escape room. So, that was completely out of our norm, you guys. So, it's nothing, <laughs> nothing well, fun. You can actually tell we was out of our Yeah, we were definitely <laughs> uncomfortable. We were with a bunch there. of people, and it was weird. Um, but you got to do things to get you out your norm because it ended up being a really good time. We ended up having, having a lot of fun, and I realized that, you know, I sucked at getting myself out of a room and that Chris actually was a little bit more intuitive and paying attention to things. And we still both failed to get now. It was because everybody, like, once you get into the room, people just start moving stuff. They do. <laughs> like, if you go to the escape room, the first thing you should tell everybody is don't move don't nothing. Touch anything. Don't touch it. Let's review what's going on. And then let's start moving. I still know exactly the reason we didn't get out there. Room. Absolutely. And then we had to keep calling because the guy give you tips over the speaker or he'll come in and give you tips. We had to keep using the tips from the guy to get through. And it sucked because people just wouldn't listen. Like, we were with people. Like, it also helps who you're with, right? Exactly. And it's the type of room you're in. And if it's a big group of you guys, all these personalities and somebody want to be in charge, as my papa would say, uh, it's too many chiefs, not enough Indians. And so all these chiefs and they're trying to run it. 
Oliver eh, Chief. So just, you know, be spontaneous, try different things, um, step out of your norm, whether it's a new restaurant, mm -hmm. doing something that, that you've never done before, but do it together and truly live in that moment and experience that together. And it'll end up being a great memory. So let's see. Uh oh, plan a vacation. So I I love vacations, y'all. Yes. I am the first one to be like, we just got back from somewhere. I'm like, where are we going next? And Chris be like, babe, we just got back. Enjoy so, the bed. Enjoy home. No, let's go. Let's go somewhere else. So I love a good vacation, you guys. There's nothing like working. Nothing like accomplishing goals, getting things done. And, you know, it's nice to, you know, spend time together and have your days. But when you can just get away mm -hmm. and unplug and hit that reset button and just be with each other, you know, put those phones on silence, give the people who need to know where you are, your location, exactly. and just enjoy each other and get away from everything that's going on, work, sleep business, late. sleep late, eat, eat whatever you want to eat, get up yes. late, do whatever you want to do, all the alcohol you can think of, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it, doing the um, excursions oh, yes. and just different little things. So our first... Our first getaway was in Austin, Texas. Right. And so Austin, it was a weekend getaway, you guys. I still have that picture on my Facebook. You have to leave. Yes, you do. <laughs> he has not changed it. Like, it's one of the people that keeps something for a very long time and don't change it. But I'm going to change it one day. But that was a weekend getaway. So your your vacations can be a weekend getaway. It could be a five to seven plus day, you know, exclusive experience. It could be a, you know, staycation, you know, to where you stay in your city, but you go to a different side of town or stay in a hotel that you've never stayed in before mm -hmm. and just experience doing some things around the city that you haven't had a chance to do. But our first, like, getaway was a weekend getaway. And I remember going to Chris and saying, babe, you know, I really want to get away. You know, I want to get out the city. I don't want to be in Dallas. I just need to, I just need to unplug. I just need to get away. And we were in the middle of planning our wedding. Um, and I was just very overwhelmed with everything from wedding planning to my health at the time, to life issues, to working. Um, it was not in our budget fully to go away for a weekend, but we made the sacrifice and we figured it out. And I remember he came to me and he had figured it out and how it wouldn't hurt us and how we could just go away for the weekend. And he was like, we got to go somewhere close. He used to know Oklahoma, Austin. Mm -hmm. Well, Austin wasn't even an option. I think it was like Houston, Oklahoma, yeah, or to Louisiana. Um, yeah, we was, I think we was originally going to go to Louisiana. We were. The, um, the casinos. Yeah, we were going to go down to the casinos. And then I was like, babe, have you ever been to Austin? Like, I don't know what made me get on Austin. He was like, no. And I was like, ah. I've only been through Austin to a convention, but never had a chance to experience it. So let's go to Austin. Mm -hmm. And you guys, we got to Austin and had the best time. Like we turned, we didn't even use GPS to get around. We just drove around yep. and figured out the city. The city was so welcoming to us. We had so much fun. We walked trails. We mm -hmm. we tried all the food we could try. We enjoyed, of course, experience Sixth Street. And that was interesting on us. So you know that Ted, Teddy Bear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like that was like to see them clear the street and just to open up the street and people just like and you people appeared out of nowhere. It's like yeah. all of a sudden the street was full. We was, was in the restaurant. Yeah, he was in the restaurant. On a patio. Out of nowhere, everything just shut down and the streets were completely full of people. And it was so much no fun. Going through. No, and it was so much fun. We ate and then we all like let's just walk around with the people, be a part of the community, and we had so much fun. And I remember we had to park far away, and oh, I was yeah. afraid my car was gone. And so we walked back to the car, you guys, and we just had a good time. And we we kept money spending to a limit because we knew we had went away and didn't necessarily need to. So we definitely tried to do everything on a budget, and, and it ended up working. Like, we experienced that city so well because we was just trying to be, like, we lived there. And I remember we was like, let's just go to a park. Yeah, we went to the... You searched the park. And you remember you didn't... It was a natural... The, it was like a national park. Yes, but it was that Peacock Park. Oh, oh yes. And he so he had searched the park and he was like, Here, just go here. And I guess he had read what kind of park it was and what was going on there. And so I'm just following because at this point we had to follow the GPS to get there. So I'm following the GPS, you guys. 
the mountains and the homes in Austin are so beautiful. And so we go through all these mountains and homes and we get to this park and the park looks like lame as hell. And I was like, what is this world? Why are we here? Like this doesn't help. Cause I was trying to go somewhere with the lake and sit on the lake and eat. And I was like, what is this? And he was all like, just get out. <laughs> and so you get out, you start hearing these animal sounds. I was like, oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, she was terrified. I was and I did a video of it. You do. Like, I wouldn't get it, let go of the door handle. Like, Chris had to convince me to walk on in and come and see what was going on. And you guys, our wedding was peacock themed. I'm completely in love with peacocks. Guess I didn't know the sound that peacocks made. <laughs> you did. Um, and they were definitely making the sounds of, you know, the bird sounds a peacock would make. And we turned the corner into the park and kids were feeding the peacock. And as soon as we turned the... <laughs> One of the birds shook their feathers and it went open. And I was like, ah! like I lost my mind in regards that it was like the peacock park. And it was when I went live immediately. I called all my bride squad. I was like, y'all wouldn't believe what this man that did. He didn't took me away from the weekend. Now he didn't took me away from the weekend. He didn't brought me to a peacock park, y'all. I, we was there until it got dark because once it got dark, it just got uneasy. Like, I don't care how much I like yeah, birds, like flies but, like bugs. Yeah, but that's a big bird to not see it. <laughs> and they all go up into the tree. Yeah, like, the tree. They yeah. all go up once it gets dark time, they go into the trees to sleep. And so you can see these big old objects. And then I was like, it's time to head out. We got our pictures. We played with the peacocks. We fed the peacocks. But and it was free. It was absolutely you can free. You just walk in. Absolutely free. It was a great experience. So Austin tried it. We enjoyed it. That was our first weekend getaway mm-hmm. and yeah that was you know that was a major event for us um we've been to miami yes miami was fun That's um miami for our honeymoon our honeymoon my sister god sister took care of our entire honeymoon all inclusive from the tickets to the hotel to everything we had the best time like you <laughs> we had so much fun on our honeymoon you can't stay at the SL. S L S Brickle. S L S Brickle. Brickle. Yeah. So there are different S L S's. There's some of my um there's one in Miami. I think there's one in Vegas. They're all over the world, but um we stayed in the Brickle district mm-hmm. and we were literally in the middle of everything you want to be in Miami. And if you went this way, you got the beach. If you went this way, you had the bay. And it was just so much fun. Like So many plant things. Yes. So much <laughs> champagne. Like They showed us so much love. They knew oh, we were tourists. God. They knew we, we had just got married. I had all the new wifey shirts and everything. So everywhere we went, they gave us a bottle of champagne. I was speaking French. He was. What had I go back? Blah, blah, blah. French. Okay, he learned. That's what he learned. I'm pretty sure that that's wrong, oh, but, that's wrong. but he learned it, <laughs> that we often speak that language of French to each other and it works for us. It works. And we had so much fun. That's when I fell in love with Cuban food and we began to eat a lot of Cuban food. Yes, we still eat. I forgot the name of the dish. Rope Vera. Yes. I might be saying wrong. Rope Vera. <laughs> we, we make that ourselves. Yes, too. I came home, right. learned that recipe and made it. And luckily I, we have Cuban friends and Yima makes that from scratch and she makes it with the rice and beans. And then she makes the plantains, she makes the salad. It's so good, you guys. So if you have not had Cuban food experience, get the broken. She makes fried plantains. She does. Those. And she put a little salt and a little sugar on it, and it's just so good. Yeah. So definitely try some Cuban food, you guys. Um, yeah, we had fun. Um, so much fun. And what else did we do? That was Miami. And then and then we did the cruise ship. <laughs> yes, we did. So, well, I did the cruise ship, <laughs> at least for the first three days. <laughs> I don't never have to get on another cruise ship. Not for, so now that I've experienced it and I've told everybody about it, everybody says we need to do a different cruise line and a different thing. time of travels. I didn't know. I, I'm, maybe I'm growing up too, have known. But I was like, dang, it's a cheap cruise. Let me get it. I didn't know it was, it was because it was hurricane season. And we literally, we literally left in the middle of a hurricane. Yeah, we didn't know if we was going to make it. Like, Carnival was like, no, nah, we going, baby. If you can make it down here, we leaving. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I would call everything like, Carnival, you not going to cancel this? And Somebody he, didn't have the insurance. I didn't have the insurance on it. Oh, that's why we was cool. We were going to try to cancel it. No, so I so it ain't that it's not because I didn't have the insurance on it. Once you're in a so far that you can't get your money back. Mm-hmm. And then once you can't get your money back, if less Carnival says they're not cruising, then you don't get your money back. Dang. 
So it wasn't that it, the insurance is there if something goes wrong. Mm. So anywho, we ended up doing it, and you guys, <laughs> the first three days I was sick. This is a five day cruise. Three days. <laughs> Two days, and days for sure. Nights. So I, I, I was like, it was bad. Like Chris had to go get the medicine from the doctor and the doctor was like, get her out the room, get her up on the dock, get her to air. And I remember him getting me to air and I was just, it was just so refreshing to get the air and I slept on the dock for like five hours. The sun, the sun came out. And I was still knocked out. Like the sun, I had got a whole tan and, but I started to feel better. So from that point forward, I took the medicine that the doctor was giving me. Like I was taking it when even I didn't need it because I didn't want to feel that way. But then what happened was every time we would dock, I didn't want to get back on the boat. And so we docked twice, and in docking, you know, we had, now we did have plenty of time we docked. Yes. Everything we did, the excursions we did, the private beaches, the adult-only situations, the all-inclusiveness, like, every time we docked, we had a good time. The people we met was so much fun. We probably never seen them again in life, but, oh, we made friends with one couple, and they randomly check in with us. Oh, yeah. We'll link with link up with them one of these days, um, but they were fun, and they showed Chris mad love, because this was for your birthday. Yes. <laughs> so that's also when I learned you couldn't swim or that, you know, you really didn't do well in the I don't water. Swim. So we had went to this private beach excursion and like to get into the water you just had to jump in. And so even if you could swim, they made you put, you know, life jackets on. This was the blue the I'm talking about the blue water, the Caribbean Sea. Like no bottom. Yeah, and deepest parts of <laughs> some of the oceans. And so I jump in, everybody's been jumping, we have a good time. So Chris comes and you see him kind of hesitant. I was like, babe, just get in. He's like, he was like, how you get out? I said, well, you can come down the ladder, you can just jump. I said, but when you get out way down the ladder, you still gotta jump in like there's no base. And so Chris came down as far as he could to before he kind of hopped in. And so literally he gets as far as he and he hops in. And you know, no matter what, when you go in, if you come in repression, it's a way, but it'll take you on it. But then you come right back up. There was no <laughs> there was no bottom to this water. <laughs> You didn't see the bottom. Just, yeah, just no, no bottom. He went on it so hard. It was dark. And then, then he, went, he went back on it because he was pissed. My pain. She's laughing at all my pain. He went back on it because he was panicking. And so now I'm panicking and I'm trying to get to him because I'm like out in the ocean. But I was calm. <laughs> that salt water was tearing him up. I was calm. <laughs> the salt got in my eyes. In my mouth, I got to the point where I felt if if I just drink, if I drink it, I can't drown. You gonna drink all the ocean water? It didn't work. And so like I'm panicking to get to him, and I get to him, and they like telling me to calm down. I can't help him. Let the lady that you know was with us help her, help him. That's what she's there for, y'all. Chris got that water so fast he didn't get back in. They were telling me just, just float. I was like, how do I do it? He was flying up, his legs was going, his the the you know the vest to come up the if you don't hold it, the, the vest was up on his The vest they gave us, they told you to wrap it around and then wrap it under. And then you blow in it. You blow in it. And mine was blowing in the place where I looked like I had triple D breasts. And it was just it was just big. It was just uncomfortable. Like it was, yeah, it had, it had the package. Pushed over to the side and it was just just pulling. Yeah. So yeah, I jumped yeah. into the water, it just yanked up. <laughs> so I'm in pain. I'm trying to get Ooh, yeah. trying to get comfortable. Yeah. Y'all had to be there to don't see. Don't get in deep water. Just don't. don't you had to be there to see this boy, you would have thought it was really bad. So he was floating holding on to the rope. And so I'm swimming, playing around, and I'm laughing and talking. And then like one of the friends that we had made was like, look at your husband. He had got out. Yeah, I was done. He had got out of all his gear, like in less than like seconds. Like it was crazy. I was up there chilling with the sun. And so he just started taking pictures of me in the ocean. And so they celebrated him um, there too when they did the. Yes. They did all kinds of stuff for him because it was his birthday. And I remember we took a picture because even when he sat down to eat and drink, he looked like that water had whipped his whipped him like his. Just took it through his eyes was red. You know, the salt dries on you. He looking all salty and ashy. But just for the record, it was my birthday. And who had hurricane on hurricane on hurricane? Yeah, I got lit. On hurricane on I hurricane. Remember, I had, to, I had to party on the way back. I made my kind of pee. It was unlimited drinks. It and was. Like, she found out that they made hurricanes real strong. 
And that's all she had. He took, they, they were so good. And I was lit. But luckily, I had them at the end. Yes. I hadn't drank them the whole time. But I think I was three in, and that was it. Like, I was on my level, and I had a good time. And by the time we got back to the dock where you could shop and have a good time, I was ready to. Uh, juvenile had came on in a restaurant, and Chris was like, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I was like, hey, would you back that thing up? And I remember he left me. He went to go buy some sunglasses. And he sat me down because he was tired of just being responsible for me, I guess. And he was like, do not move. Do not move. And like another man said, his wife then was like, stay with her. Do not move. <laughs> and he took out to go get glasses. And I was sitting there, me and her just started talking. We just took a picture together. We never became friends. And so it was a good time. The cruise was a good time, despite me having all of the motion sickness that could come along with being on a cruise ship. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? Uh, we did Mexico. Yes. Mexico was perfect. We did. Three different types of Mexico. Yeah, we, went we to did. Cozumel, Yucatan. Uh, for the picture, we got the picture in Cozumel. No, I'm talking about my birthday trip to Mexico. Oh, your birthday trip. So Mexico was perfect. He got us an all-inclusive package at El Cid Marina. Yes. Hotel and Resort. If you've never been there, stay there. It's Don't great. smart readers. Yes, it's all this. So Chris learned. That was his Spanish he learned. Yes. And he knew that's all the Spanish you need to know. <laughs> that is, that is. <laughs> and they knew Chris. They were, when they were saying they dos margaritas, my friend. Dos margaritas. Yes. So it was great. We had fun there. We, you know, we did plenty excursions there as well. Mm -hmm. um, the resort itself, like if you didn't, you didn't have to do an excursion. The resort itself was lit. Yes. We had a good time. To do every night. Something to do every night throughout the day. Um, our room was beautiful. Yes. Uh, we literally disconnected. Like we, we got there. We just disconnected. Like I, my, my mom knew where we was. Really. But we just disconnected and we just truly emerged into everything Mexico. And we experienced uh, where we were there. We experienced Tulum. We got to go to Cancun. Yes. Um, like we were all over Mexico. And Tulum is beautiful, you guys. If you can experience the Tulum and go to the Mayan ruins and, you know, experience the Tulum beach, do it. If that's an excursion option for you, do it because it was beautiful. We had a good time. Um, there are a lot of what's those things, those lizard things. Geckos? No, the big ones. I don't know what those are. The, what are they? the big lizards, y'all. Iguanas. <laughs> oh, iguanas, yes. They everywhere. <laughs> um, our resort gave us warnings of everything you could possibly see. So they told us we would see iguanas. Okay. Uh, we saw iguanas. We saw monkey looking things. We had an alligator, y'all. And that was crazy in itself. Like every day I made sure like it stayed in the same area just about. And so every day I would make sure it's in the same, it was in this encaged, like swamp thing, but y'all, and then finally it disappeared and I couldn't see it no more. So I was like, look, listen, we can't walk this way ever again, right here. But um, they were really good to us. It was so much fun. My birthday itself, my actual, it was lit. And <laughs> if you are a true friend, you know what happened and you probably even have footage of what happened. So it was great. We had a good time. Mexico was fun. If you've never experienced Mexico, experience it. Uh, we're not gonna get, we're not gonna go on to the next one. We gotta talk about since you're talking about my <laughs> my right. water, you're gonna have to talk about you on the four wheelers, Miss Country Girl. Oh, <laughs> I don't know where I'm four wheelers. So we did an excursion. Oh, wait, 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 let me do this one. <laughs> Fine. I said, babe, you wanna you wanna get two? You wanna get two four wheelers? You ride one, I ride one, or you wanna just get one? She's like, oh no, I want my own. I'm a country girl. I know what I'm doing. Fast forward, <laughs> we get there. So if you're not good at like what he says, if you're not good at driving or you don't have, or you're not sure if you're going to damage it or not, go ahead and buy the insurance. Somebody got real serious. She made sure she got the insurance. I did. I think you should get on insurance on anything you're doing. Nobody else there got insurance. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Nobody else there got insurance. And we started, the, we got on the floor with her. We started riding, we went down this path. Yeah. So I, I think this is unfair. I don't think they gave you the right details on the path he was going to go on. Oh, they said it's, it's four wheelers. But they, they were like, it's going to be, but you expected it to be both, but this was like, no, it was, it was, at one point, you could have drove off a cliff. That's why you're supposed to know how to control it, Miss Country Girl. So I guess driving the four wheelers down in East Texas ain't the same as me. Nah, this is like off road ATVs. So every time so they would always stop, like everybody was going, they would always stop and check in with everybody. And so they kept checking in with me. Cause she was the very last one. <laughs> I wasn't the very last one. It was, oh, uh, you were second to the last. But I was, so it wasn't that I did bad. I also had someone in front of me that wasn't doing well. That mm -hmm. dude, 
And so remember, he ended up being last too because they made him get behind. They mm-hmm. actually made him switch bikes. And so, so you ended up getting off of yours. I did. Uh, so finally, the, the head dude came and talked to me because the other dude was telling on me. He kept radioing up to the front dude saying all the struggles I was having and I kept trying to go still. And so uh, he came back there and he was all like, you know, it's okay. It's okay if you get off and you get on with your man. He was all like, you've done most of the trail by yourself. I got a picture of this too. And he goes, and he's like having this hard department. He's like, it's going to get harder. And I was like, it's going to get harder than what we already did. And I was like, oh, hell no. I got off that bike and I got on the back with Chris. Now, mind you now, now I'm on the bike with Chris. And I tell Chris, I said, remember, I'm on the bike with you. Don't drive crazy. Chris drove. I said, hey. And if I wasn't on the bike, y'all. I said, I'm going to enjoy it. Have you ever been so tense and holding on so tight? Like, you know, work that your muscles hurt the next day? I couldn't lift my arms. My stomach was tight and sore. This boy. good. Was, I mean, like, he was gone. He didn't care that I was his wife on the back. I was standing up in the house. <laughs> He was turning them curves. I thought like we were going to bow to the road. When you first got on, I'm like, now I'm going to ride this. This is why I didn't want to be on it with him from the beginning. I'm going to ride this the way that I would have ride it. I should have just stayed on my bike. You should have. I'll never do it again, though. <laughs> first of all, they took us to the middle of the Tulum jungle, okay? Yes. We was in the middle of the Tulum jungle. They fed us in the middle of the Tulum jungle. Mm-hmm. You could shop in the middle of the Tulum jungle. Like, you had to go through the, I'm talking about the city of Tulum where people are living outside. Washing clothes outside, yes. cooking outside, like to see the true culture and history of Tulum. To only then go into the jungle. I mean, it took us like an almost a forty-five minutes to get to where we was going yes. within the jungle. So if anything would have happened to us out there, you would have dang a bit clarified it. But I'm telling you, you could almost drive off cliffs. You could. There was holes and ditches so deep that you know you if you hurt, you gonna be hurt out there. And so. Yeah. It was it was pretty intense. It's not something I ever have to experience again. It's completely. <laughs> but close. you was so hyped. I was. She was so hyped about this. I just knew the country. She was like, I was like, I got this. I did. I got this. And I didn't. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I can own it. I would never ever experience that again. So moving on. Oh, snap. That was Mexico. That was hilarious. And so of course we've had a host of other day trips to. Excuse me, to you know, um, East Texas, my hometown, his father's um, hometown. Texas. Uh, we've been to Oklahoma to the casinos, Louisiana to you know, different things. So, we are definitely just getting to where we're going to start traveling more and doing things. So, if you know some places we should go, some things we should experience, but we plan, cruises. yes, <laughs> maybe not cornable. <laughs> not cornable when we plan our vacation, send it our way. But it's important, you guys, there's nothing like getting away with just the one you love. And having a good time and experiencing that together because you know you're doing life together so make it fun you know so definitely have a vacation um our goal is to have one a year if nothing and maybe two like when we do those little weekend quick getaways yeah. but like a long when once a year and as time goes by we'll start doing two vacations a year you know um mm-hmm. to where we're experiencing life and experiencing different cultures and cities states countries because it's really we want to do it so we're excited about it we can do it we can do one next week. Just a weekend getaway song? A weekend getaway. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So, um, to wrap everything up, you guys, just whatever you do to keep it fun, keep it, you know, alive, just always make each other a priority. Like, make each other first. Treat each other like, you know, like that's your person because... If you're Christian, Jesus first, and then everything else. That's true, and that that everything else is your spouse and, you know, your marriage and your unit. So it's very important to making each other priority and making each other first is very important. But to educate yourself on your your spouse's love language and to understand their love language and then to learn to speak it fluently and understand that this is the way they want to be loved. Speak it how I can speak French fluently. Which is what? Blah, 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 French. So be sure <laughs> that you're tapping into each other's love language and speaking it fluently. Doing that on its own, you guys, is a whole nother level of fun. Like learning how to truly love each other and what each other is l- looking for, what each other wants, and what makes each other just takes them to a whole nother level of just just complete ec- ecstasy within the relationship and the marriage. and everything is like it's it's so much fun like you find yourself that's how you even find different things to do and how to do because you're tapping into making sure that they're happy just be the reason that your person is smiling yeah man, have some backseat fun <laughs> yes babe so 
Um, that's just some things we're gonna keep it for you guys. Yes, um, things we've done. Yeah, facts. A lot um, more to come. A lot more to come. We're definitely planning to do a lot more and make a lot more happen. And we'll definitely begin to share with you guys. Now that we are, you know, here with this channel, we'll begin to vlog and share some of the things we do, some of the places we go and get it, you know, maybe do room tours and just, you know, be able to say, hey, man, y'all should try this place out. We tried it. Here's this restaurant. The food is so good. Just to ensure that, you know, we are, you know, pouring into what we're saying. We're showing you our day nights. We're showing you our traveling. That way you guys can say, dang, they doing it. We can do it. So, um, yeah, to, the place is bad. We're going to tell you that too. Yes. We are. We're not going to bad them, but we're going to tell you that too. <laughs> so just know that you're doing life together and that this is the person you should make all these adventures with, you know, and do whatever you got to do to create those adventures, you know, and and build those memories that you can look back on, remember, like, look how much stuff we done shared today, how much we done laughed, yeah. you know? Those are memories for us, things we'll be able to tell our children, things we can tell our friends and family, and it's just beautiful. So take the time to make your marriage fun. There, There is so many serious points in marriages. There are so many, you know, everyday things that come with marriage, but don't lose that fun factor. Don't get complacent. Don't forget to date each other. Don't forget to make each other a priority. Don't forget to be creative in what you do. You know, we told you some of the things we were doing in our quarantine and chill video, how we've had to get creative, you know, with spending time together and celebrating each other and having a good time. So just be sure to do that, you guys. Exactly. So with that being said, we're just going to get ready to wrap up. And I want to tell you all to subscribe. I'm going to let Chris tell you how to do it. Oh, you're talking about to the YouTube? Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, and then tell them, to tell, them, tell them how to subscribe. Uh, tell them how to find us on social media. All right. And then so, just take us out. Let me show you this is what you do. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to hit that subscribe button. All right? Hit it. Now, once you hit that subscribe button, right next to that subscribe button. You got to turn on all those. You got I thought you wanted oh, to hit it. I thought you wanted to hit it. Start over. All right. So, you hit that subscribe button. Yep. But next to that subscribe button, we got that little bell. You hit that little bell, you hit you hit that little bell and you go all the way up to all. That way you can see all the content. That comes out when? That comes out on every Wednesday. Um, every Wednesday. Every other Wednesday. Every Wednesday, Wednesday. As long as it's a Wednesday. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. And then after that, you can follow us on all our social medias. Facebook, Instagram. And? Yeah. Oh. Yes, we do have Pinterest. Yeah. And Pinterest. Yep. I'm not used to that. Yes, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so we have Pinterest, we have an Instagram, and we have a Facebook. Yeah. It's Lovely Conversations on all. It's love, L-O-V-E-L-E-E. -E. Some people still spell it lovely. I know. <laughs> they don't catch up. It's love, L-O-V-E-L-E-E, -E -E, Conversations. What it is. With an S. And that's on all social media platforms. And if you're on Instagram, I think you, I think Facebook as well. You can hashtag lovely conversations. Absolutely. And it'll bring us up as well. And be sure to go to our social medias to get updated content. That's where we send out the previews. That's where we send out tips and tricks on you know, on how to keep things spicy in your relationship. Or we even ask you questions because Ooh. this is a conversation. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. Come on, give me some. No, okay. Give me some. Ooh. You don't think I know what I'm doing? Ooh. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, love me. Love me. Love me. All right, we got to go, y'all. We got to go. We Spontaneous. Spontaneous. It's time. Ooh. So, Thank y'all. Yeah. Thank you. For joining this lovely conversation and being a part of this. We, you know, we love all your feedback. Be sure to like and comment on this video. Share it, you know, and just... You know, help us continue this conversation. Mm -hmm. This is for us, but it's for you too. And again, it's just conversations as you see. So give us some topics, give us some songs, anything we can rock with. We're going to check it out. We're going to bring it to you. We will be as transparent as we can possibly be to, you know, tell you our truths in that situation. So thank you for joining this lovely conversations. We'll see you next week on Wednesday. Bye. Bye.